It's no secret at this point what the current circulating reports and rumors are all saying. But as a refresher for those who missed it, Pedro Henrique Ludi Lipe from OX Do Control podcast, a well-known journalist out of Brazil, said he had five sources in three different countries that Nintendo has told them to prepare their games for quarter one of 2025, or in other words, the end of next fiscal year. This was then backed up by sources from Eurogamer, Video Game Chronicle, and well-known insider Nate The Hate. Of course, these reports are still rumors, and yes, it's about Switch 2, so none of us can verify this information. But it's rare that this many people come together and are just wrong. That being said, it has happened, as a lot of outlets and insiders came together uh, in the past, really just for Switch Pro, only to see that system never release, and rumored to be canceled due to production issues during the pandemic the truth of which we typically will never find out under normal circumstances. While the system was widely rumored to be launching this year, we do happen to have evidence that Nintendo has delayed systems in the past. In fact, the Nintendo Switch itself. This is due to a massive hack of Nintendo servers that happened back in 2020, otherwise known publicly as the Giga Leak. It trickled information out in 2018 and then exploded on 4chan and other websites in 2020. Nintendo has prosecuted those involved, but it was the largest leak of internal documents and emails ever. And due to this leak, we have this chart. This chart is an internal document at Nintendo that was in said leak. And one thing you'll notice is it shows that Nintendo Switch was supposed to launch in holiday of 2016. It had been widely speculated that that was the intent and there was a delay to March due to game reasons, but we never had full public proof. This document mostly flew under the radar because it was only really relevant in a situation like right now. If Switch 2 does launch in 2025, we may never see such a document proving it was intended to release this year. In fact, pretty unlikely barring a second Giga Leak post system launch. Still, it does prove that this does happen. Now, it happening back in 2016 may not have been a big deal. Wii U was already sinking, 3DS was near the end, and Nintendo pivoted to the NES Classic as a moneymaker during the holidays. However, Switch was to rebuild their console momentum, rather than maintain it. So, it not launching that holiday wasn't too pivotal. Today, we are facing a reality that Nintendo Switch may have to gut it out another nearly full year on the market. And if the reports are true, without any like quote unquote major games, I take this personally to mean no brand new unannounced games that are the sorts of games that you actually buy systems to play. That leads into the first thing that we need to talk about, Metroid Prime 4. You see... Jeff Grubb said this on a recent show the other day about a trusted source of his. I did um, also, I was like going through some old like contacts and sources um, where I was like, where, where did I get like, why was I so kind of like, hmm, Metroid probably this year. Um, and it was someone mentioned. Why were you like that? <laughs> well, because I, I found it. Um, and it was uh, a, a source that actually got a lot of other stuff right. And we'll, st we'll still see about this. That And this stuff could have changed. Obviously, it's Nintendo. Um, we'll talk about that, too, I guess. Um, uh, they mentioned, hey, that they're trying to get something put together for a big Metroid marketing campaign that probably would drop around May of 2024. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, there you go. So, hey, that's probably not going to pan out necessarily because this this new this, this little tidbit I got was is very old now. Uh, and things have probably changed since then. But... Back then, things that never seemed change. yes, yeah. Then well, things never. We we do know that that nothing's ever changed inside of video game companies. It's important to note this may have been built around the idea that Switch Two was in fact going to come out, and yes, the chance of it happening in May is much lower than what he heard about. Also, it doesn't specify which Metroid titles, though he noted he had heard in the past that Metroid Prime Two and Three remastered, remake, whatever you want to call them, were going to come but not when. Maybe the Metroid blowout included those two titles, plus a look at Metroid Prime 4. Now, many of us believe Metroid Prime 4 could come to Switch 2 and Switch at the same time, 
but if Switch 2 is delayed, then Metroid Prime 4 could help fill the slate as a first release on Switch, likely in October. Metroid Prime 2 and 3 would simply come sometime before that. Now remember, Metroid Prime 4 is already announced. As I said, I'm talking about new announced games. That probably won't happen. Beyond that, we obviously still have Luigi's Mansion 2 and the Thousand Year Door on Slate. And there is possibly a Pokemon game, likely another remake, getting announced on Pokemon Day towards the end of this month. But what else could Nintendo slot in? Well, everything is possibly on the table. I want to know that this feels like the perfect time to drop the Wind Waker and or Twilight Princess HD. Now, I have no reason to believe it would be a dual pack or even come this year, and it could just be one of those two games instead of both, but if you combine one of those titles with the two Metroid Prime games, Metroid Prime 4, a Pokemon remake, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, and the Thousand Year Door, you have cobbled together a year of releases that might just hold people's interest just enough until Switch 2. Or maybe it won't. It's tough to tell when we're talking about a year that if everything's true, would only feature two absolute brand new games in Princess Peach Showtime next month and Metroid Prime 4 this holiday season. But that is a reality that we could be facing. And if this becomes the plan, then so be it. We could doom and gloom all over this and how it's not an impressive lineup and this is what they choose to do, but we are also likely, and it ugh, man, it really feels weird saying this, to actually see Switch 2 at some point this year. Even if it's merely an October announcement in the same way they did it with Switch, none of the games talked about here are likely going to be system movers or stop a rapid decline in system sales beyond some sort of Pokemon remake, but even that will likely not stop year-over-year -year sales drops. Nintendo knows Switch is at the end, and while Switch 2 may have ideally been a 2024 holiday release, it is better to delay something for a better software lineup, and that's assuming that this is the same reason as Switch. Then, rush it to the market, and large gaps in between Nintendo games that we care about most in the first year wouldn't be great. Time will tell if this all pans out, but I surely hope it does. Now, that is the end of the script I had written for this video, folks, and what I want to throw out there towards the end is that honestly we don't know what nintendo is really going to do at this point right a lot of this conversation in this discussion video which does include some new rumors i i didn't want to i wasn't really sure how to tackle the new rumors because it deals with technically something that jeff grubb heard so long ago at this point that it's probably not that relevant today other than that nintendo was planning to release a bunch of metroid stuff this year so i'm just going to look at this as a situation where we need to come together as a Nintendo community because we probably have some rough waters ahead. And again, probably you hear me using a lot of specific terminology that isn't a certainty because the only certainty we have is Princess Peach Showtime, Luigi's Mansion 2, and Thousand Year Door. Beyond that, nothing is for certain, whether it's a new system, whether it's new games, or whether, I don't know, any of us are going to have fun this year on Nintendo. Maybe you're already having fun with Mario vs. Donkey Kong this weekend, so you can already check that one off the box. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance, and I will catch you in the next video.